Hello, BMCC community. I am honored to be speaking with you to help kick off BMCC's African American Heritage Month. This BMCC tradition, which coincides with National Black History Month, is an annual celebration of achievements by African Americans at a time for recognizing the central role of blacks in U.S. history. This year's theme, Looking Forward to Brighter Times in 2022, focuses on optimism and prosperity as we navigate through current social and political climates and explore the influence of African Americans in today's world. This month's activities will celebrate the African American culture and history through a variety of educational and engaging programs, including lectures, workshops, performances, and insightful discussions. I am proud of our college's commitment to advancing equity, strengthening a culture of care, and advancing justice through education. African American Heritage Month is an extension of this commitment and provides all of us with an opportunity to learn about the important contributions made by African Americans. You will be inspired and encouraged to bring positive changes to our world. This event is a wonderful way to start the spring semester. I hope you enjoy this year's celebration. Thank you for your time. Greetings. Thank you so much to Borough of Manhattan Community College President Anthony Monroe, Professor James Blake, President of the BMCC Black Faculty and Staff Association, and the entire student body at BMCC for welcoming me to your opening ceremony as we officially kick off Black History Month. I'm New York City Council Speaker Adrian Adams, and I have the great honor of being the first black speaker in the city's history. This distinction means a lot to me personally, knowing the long road that we have traveled to get here. First and foremost, I have to pay tribute to the trailblazers who paved the way for me and those who will follow. 80 years ago, Adam Clayton Powell Jr. was sworn in as the first African American to serve in the city council. Then, in 1974, Mary Pinkett became the first black woman to serve in our legislative body. And without leaders like the great Shirley Chisholm, the first black woman to be elected to Congress, and Letitia James, the first black attorney general of New York, and of course, Kamala Harris, my sorority sister, and the first black vice president of the United States, I would not be here where I am today. Leaders like Manhattan's own David Dinkins and so many others whose names we may not know are responsible for what we've been able to achieve today. I also feel bittersweet that it's taken this long for our city council to elect its first black speaker. To still be introducing so many firsts in the year 2022 shows that our city and our country still have a long way to go to achieve true representation and leadership within government and so many other areas. While I'm on the topic of firsts, I'm happy to say that this city council is the most diverse in history. Not only do we have the first black speaker leading the first ever women majority, but we have the first Korean American members, the first South Asian members, and the first two black LGBTQ women on our city council. Our legislative body reflects what New York City truly looks like, and that will be a tremendous asset as we do the people's work to improve the lives of everyday New Yorkers. My path to the city council was anything but straightforward. I grew up in Hollis, Queens, as the daughter of union workers who really instilled in me the importance of hard work and dedication. I graduated from Bayside High School, where one of my classmates was actually our current mayor, Eric Adams. I attended CUNY's York College before transferring to Spelman College, the historically black all-women's college in Atlanta, Georgia. It was an absolutely transformational experience. Dr. Maya Angelou was the keynote speaker at my graduation. Dexter King, the son of Martin Luther King Jr., attended Morehouse College, the companion college to Spelman, at the very same time that I was there. It was inspiring to be among professors, students, and educators who look like me and whose experiences were similar to my own. After graduating from Spelman, I spent several decades as a corporate trainer in human capital management, as well as an early childhood development instructor. But in my heart, 
I knew that I wanted to serve my community of Southeast Queens, so I decided to join my local community board. I got involved with education and policies, and I advocated for education equity for our children, especially those who had been historically underserved. I chaired my community board for three terms before being elected to the city council in 2017 as the first woman to represent District 28 in Queens, which I call the Great 28. And four years later, here I am, proudly standing before you as the first black speaker of the New York City Council. I'm sharing my story with you today as we kick off Black History Month in 2022 to let you know that though I'm the first black speaker, I certainly won't be the last. And I know that each and every one of you are bright, driven, and committed to making a difference in our city and in our country. Like me, your paths will take you to different places, possibly all over the world. But as long as you work hard, remain persistent, and follow your own chosen paths, you can achieve your dreams and goals. I'll leave you with this. My mantra that has gotten me through some hard times, here it is. I wake up every morning on purpose with a purpose. And I know you too will find your purpose in life. Thank you, BMCC. Thank you, Professor Blake. And to all of our students here today, a very happy Black History Month.